repeatedly pressing and releasing fanning the brake pedal may result in the loss of brake air pressure. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by air pressure. The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is stop and safely park as soon as possible. The use of air brakes on downgrade is only a supplement to the braking effect of the engine. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicle is the S-cam drum. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying the parking brake or chocking the wheels? Never. A supply pressure gauge tell you how much pressure is in the air tanks. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums or discs with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications. Generally this will be inch one quarter. When you apply the brakes, the brake shoes lining are pressed against the brake drum. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes are you can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator every day during cold weather, you should check and fill the alcohol level. Emergency controlled braking is when you apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Your truck or bus has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Never. The proper method of braking when going down long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 5. Your truck has properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks. The air pressure should build from 85 to 100 psi within seconds. 45. The air compressor governor controls when air is pumping into the air storage tanks. You should know your brakes are fading when you have to push the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Why drain water from compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. You are on steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to MPH 35. Total stopping distance for vehicle with air brakes is longer than that for vehicles with hydraulic brakes due to distance. Brake lag. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks and buses can be legally held on by pressure spring. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid.